hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video for manhood and it's titled may students leave feminism lecture in protest and men are waking up you guys i'm super excited as always if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please consider please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what this video is all about feminist and i don't okay, hate so men you are a self-described feminist what is a woman why do you want to know <laughs> i'm infinitely what, curious what's a man you're looking at one what is that thing? Why do you think that that's important to you, what a man and a woman is? So do you, you treat men and women differently? Well, it depends in what context, though. Politically, no. Under the law, no. Should mm -hmm. they be treated differently in societal customs and norms? Yes. Why? Like, we should open doors for women. We, we should honor and protect women. I want to honor and protect you, man. Okay, Aww, great. Thank you. Women protected? are worthy of protection. Can you tell me what a woman is since you're a feminist? Wow. You're saying these things because you're trying to get a gotcha. You're okay, a feminist. So you Shouldn't you be able to tell me what a woman is? I'm a feminist. Isn't that probably important to feminism? What is the woman that you're bruh, trying to advance know, and right? protect? Bruh. Isn't that <laughs> integral so to. Is that the whole feminist project? The Asking war against. what a woman is. Is the, is the only way that you can well, get a gotcha over everybody I, I, else. I, I, Why is it so important to you to define things in certain categories why does how does that help your day-to-day -to -day life like what, what other categories in the human species are there besides male and female well i just think that categorization is usually unhelpful when we're trying to improve society right i have xy chromosomes okay can i give birth um no you can't Bingo. That's why categorization matters. Wait, you're you're leaving people? I'm not rage quitting. It's just it's 1230. <laughs> you can admit it. I'm hungry. No, I'm not upset at all. It's just... Do you want to watch a tape clip before you leave? No, really. <laughs> should, we, should we talk about to, like, abortion? Do you want to talk about abortion really quick? Just throwing it up. Kiko. Bye, Kiko. Nice speaking with you tonight. <laughs> what? I, I was being serious. <laughs> I just dri drive safe. Oh, welcome back. Hi, I'm back again. My problem <laughs> is not, honestly, I'm more upset with how you've conducted yourself earlier in the podcast. It was very unprofessional, in my opinion. All, For all giggling? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Learn how to conduct yourself properly. I could say the same to you. <laughs> Another one, thank you. 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 Modern feminism is against men wow. and promotes female supremacy. If you take a look at court statistics, the homeless population, prisons, or any other kind of horrible place in society, the victims are predominantly male. Men make up 86% of the homeless population. Men can be drafted. Men make up 93% of workplace fatalities. Mm. There are more safety nets, like homeless and DA shelters, for women than men. Men make up 98% of combat fatalities. Female-only prisons are far less secure than male-only prisons. A woman can rape a man or steal his sperm and sue him for child support. Men mm. only win 5% of custody battles. That's deep. And when they win, they don't get half of the woman's money and half of all she owns. Men get two times the sentences for equivalent crimes. Women can gold dig without societal repercussions. Men are still forced to abide by traditional gender roles, gender quotas appearing in upper management. Men are not allowed to show emotion, or they get called babies. And men make up 70% of unreciprocated DA victims. Back during second wave of feminism, feminists got what they asked for. We had a problem though. Too many feminists' entire lives were fighting against the patriarchy. When they succeeded in their goal, it would have been financial ruin to just drop it. Like everything in life, once something starts, it fights to stay alive, whether it has a purpose or not. Yeah. That is just biological nature. Mm -hmm. When you have already achieved equality of opportunity without the detrimental side effects, there is only one way to push from there. Push that pendulum up in the direction it was moving. Since you have to be pretty extreme and ask for privileges beyond what is reasonable, after you have already achieved equality. Anything you do is likely to be extreme. Wow, you guys, what are your thoughts on this video? I love how Charlie Kirk schooled that college student on what feminism is. 
because obviously she doesn't know what she is fighting for if she calls herself a true feminist then she should be able to define what a woman is because a true feminist is a woman who wants to be equal with men not a man who is acting like a woman i love how everything played out in that video and what do you guys think about this video so far leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and let's wrap this video up you guys because you'll be pushing for stuff you truly don't deserve like equity opportunity is already there but biologically speaking men and women are different and we have different wants and needs third and fourth wave feminism is a cancer it should have stopped at second wave and just be remembered yeah feminism has always been about privileged women fighting for more privilege hmm. the suffragettes were terrorists who left hundreds of bombs around the uk between 1912 to 1915. margaret sanger was a vile eugenic who wanted to control the black population through abortion hmm. today it is the same thing yeah radical upper middle class liberal white women who have a plan for a femitopia a world where everyone is exactly equal, <laughs> an impossibility, what was, seeing as nobody is exactly Femitopia. equal anyway. However, this is just a facade. They want a two-tier system, which is what we already have in the West, in the courts. They think of men as a class, a class that has been oppressing them, and they want to be the ones in yeah. power. They don't want to be the oppressed anymore. Mm -hmm. They want to be the oppressors. Hmm. To get to the top, they need to cheat by denying men the chance to compete eye shortlists and quotas. They need to oust men in positions of power through sexual harassment claims, where someone gave them an unwanted compliment, and suddenly the strong independent women have become weak damsels in distress. They want women to work like men, but women are not men, and have different interests. This is why women have been getting unhappier and unhappier since the 1970s as their rights went up. When feminist social engineering plans don't work, they say we need more feminism, more trying to force men and women and boys and girls to act against their own nature. This is because feminists don't believe in nature. They think they have so far transcended millions of years of coding and evolution from a single cell to what we are today that they can just turn men into women yeah. and vice versa. Yeah. Society has to do nothing. Feminism is doomed because of demographics. Feminists don't have enough children and there is nothing feminism can do about it. It is a flaw baked into the core of their worldview. Feminists are oddly obsessed with very patriarchal measures of success. The number of women at top universities, in high status professions, and the amount women earn. They look down on traditional female roles, the mother and the housewife. The problem with that is that it is fundamentally incompatible with a society's survival, for two reasons. The first is female fertility is age dependent. Women are most fertile in their teens and twenties. And after that, their fertility goes off a cliff. Women who go to university and pursue careers don't have children in their peak fertile years. The second problem is women don't partner up with men who are equal or inferior to them. Women want men who are of higher status than they are. That becomes impossible in a feminist society because as women gain status, the number of men they consider viable as husbands and fathers decreases. Of course, feminists will deny this, but the truth is shown by Western demographics. The birth rate in the West has gone off a cliff. The numbers are worse than they look because there has been mass migration into the West from communities hostile to feminism. Give it two, maybe three generations, and feminism will cease to exist because every feminist will have died, childless, of old age. Today, feminism hurts our children the most, and then women, and then men. Women are realizing that they cannot have it all, and many can see feminism for what it is now, a supremacist ideology that cares nothing for men and boys, but constantly hides behind a veneer of equality. What we are seeing is the last stage of empire, decadence, transvestites, the craziest porn, constant entertainment and escapism, weak men, loss of religion, my question is, are women inheriting a dying empire, or are they causing it? Anyway, that's all for today on manhood. Why, you guys? What are your thoughts on this video? I always love to listen to manhood because I think it has a lot of things to say when it comes to feminism. And I hope that a lot of women are watching 
most of his videos because there's a lot to learn from listening to him this was very interesting and i believe you guys enjoyed watching if you did enjoy watching give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys